All right, hello everybody and welcome to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Kim and I are on a week-long trip to the national parks, to Grand Teton and to Yellowstone. For those that are new to our channel, I'm Jason. I'm Kim. And welcome to JK's Adventures. A lot of times we're doing RV travel, most of our videos, but every once in a while we uh, leave the trailer at home and this is that case where I think we're glad we did yeah. <laughs> because uh, it's a long drive uh, from the northwest out here and so uh, we drove the truck out and I plan on doing uh, staying here at Jackson Hole for a few nights and then heading to Yellowstone and we'll be, he we'll be uh, staying in every lodge. Yeah, I all believe. the lodges that are open right now. All the open lodges, so that'll be interesting uh, to see all those. So uh, come along and we'll take you on a tour of the area. Everybody, welcome to the Jackson Hole Tram. We're so in a gondola. We are in a gondola. Pretty cool. We're snowboarders, so we've always uh, dreamt about coming here and doing some snowboarding, but uh, no snowboarding today. <laughs> so, uh, what was it to, to come up price wise? Uh, $39, but they had a coupon, so it's $7 off right now. So, so 39 per person right. uh, to go up, go up and down all day. I think they have um, a bunch of hiking trails. Yeah, they have a, a restaurant have a up here. Little map. It's got 2020 hiking map. Yeah, I think yeah. they got a suspension bridge, maybe. Uh, it's pretty expensive, you know, for uh, this time of year. You know, when all you're gonna potentially do is go up there to see the sites. But we figured we're here. We've got to do it once. Looks like they got a climbing thing over there for kids. Okay. Oh yeah. Maybe it, zip line or something. You can uh, do a tandem uh, paraglide. Paragliding off the hill, they got a bunch of people doing that, which is pretty crazy, but uh, won't be doing that anytime soon. Chicken! So we'll come on up here and show you guys what this is all about and okay. tell you if it's worth There's it. There's lots of stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, wait, we're waiting for our hotel anyway, so we didn't have a lot uh, planned for today anyway. Um, so this should be a good way to uh, spend some time. Yeah, and from what we saw online before we left home, today is the last day that the gondola is open for the summer season. So. Right. This Good was point. our only chance to do it. So if you guys watched our video on the Redwoods, we went to a place called Trees of Mystery. And we took a tram ride and I freaked out because was a little scared. the maintenance did not seem to be very well on that. Luckily here at Jackson Hole, we're not as scared because right. Hopefully they uh, make enough money to maintain uh, what's going on here. So, and it's not quite as steep either. It's steep going up, but if you're to fall, you're not going to fall as far as you were there. So that's good. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Get off the tram and come see some guys just uh, paragliding. A uh, little uh, cloudy today. Got a lot of fires and stuff going on in, in the northwest, as you know. And around here, I think they've got a fire happening as well. So pretty uh, souped in with um, smog right now yeah, or fire. It's clear up here at the top, but it's all stuck down in the valley. Still beautiful, but it'd be epic if uh, had a little bit better weather. What do we got? Snake River Brewing, Pecos IPA, Snake River Pale Ale, a giant, giant cookie, grilled chicken salads, and a huge snickerdoodle. Oh, and we're stopping. <laughs> All right, it's not bad. Went up uh, for lunch, had a salad. Whoa, that is swinging. <laughs> 
had a salad and uh, their local beer from the Snake Snake River Snake Brewing. Snake River I think. Brewing. Yeah, really good. Uh, had the IPA. Kim had the pale ale. Mm-hmm. And uh, nice views. Again, it is um, clouded over from some smoke, but still really pretty. Uh, luckily, it's not too bad that you can't make out um, the landscape. You can still see it's just uh, a little hazy. So, but cool to see all these guys out paragliding and people out hiking and having a good time, social distancing and all. People are being good, wearing masks. So. Yeah. So anyway, recommend it if you uh, make it worth your while. That was our second trip, so I feel like we got our money's worth. Thirty-two dollars. Yeah. If we had just come up and just for the view, it wouldn't be worth it. But if you come up and do some hiking, right. eat a meal, have a drink, kick back, much better. All right, so from the base area, we also have a lot of hiking down here at the lodge. Uh, they got Frisbee Golf, uh, mountain biking trails, a lot of hiking from down here. And so we're taking a quick one to uh, this Trail of the Seven Bridges. Something like that. And uh, we, it's warm, number one. And we apologize for the out of breathness. Yeah. The elevation's a little higher here than at home. At home, we're sea level. Dude, we've been hiking for a minute and a half. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. So it's uh, takes some uh, acclimation. Definitely beautiful fall. All the colors are changing. Uh, first week of October right now. They say the very end of uh, September and the middle of October, and then everything's pretty much gone. So we have a couple weeks, so we're pretty lucky. Got here right on time. Hi, guys. Hi. How you doing down there? Hi. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> You're getting a little close there, buddy. Hi, like, you sniffing you got, me? What you got for me? You sniffing me? You're a good horse. I can already tell you're a good horse. Hi, huh, buddy. They like people. Welcome to the city of Jackson, Wyoming. Kim's in heaven. Oh yeah. All she ever talks about is wanting some western themed filled home, but unfortunately, that's not what we have. <laughs> Think of gun barrel steak and game. It was, I don't know, probably the best steak I've ever had. It was like nothing compared to home. I mean, at home we don't really go anywhere other than your typical Outback. Ch chains. Um, yeah. I mean, we do have some good steakhouses, but yeah, I, I don't know. It was, uh, I got an eight ounce tenderloin, but we both did, and it was fantastic. Yeah, it, um, you know, yeah, as you can see from the video, we got to sit right by the guys doing the cooking, uh, which is pretty cool to see. The atmosphere inside was awesome. Uh, being in Wyoming, everything's all, you know, rustic, and they've got a bunch of uh, game and stuff up on the walls and stuff. So really neat place to come to. Uh, they recommend reservations. We got lucky. We showed up right at 5 p.m. when they opened, 
and they were able to get us a seat, but otherwise uh, you have to have and reservations. And there's only two of us, so yeah. that helps. Uh, during COVID, yeah. you still need a reservation. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, because they probably can only do half capacity. I noticed in there, there were you know, a lot of people as we left, but they still had empty tables in between people, so I don't oh. think they're filling filling all the tables that they have. Yeah. There. So if you like steak, um, they had other stuff, games type stuff, uh, buffalo. buffalo. They had buffalo lollipops. No. Was it? Was it, no? It wasn't buffalo. It was venison, wasn't it? No, antelope. Antelope? No, not antelope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then it was buffalo. No, because it, it was something you don't like. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you like <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> Come on, what's a stupid animal that you don't want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, elk. Elk? No, elk. Maybe. No, <laughs> no I think it was elk lollipops. Was it? <laughs> It was some kind we'll of have to look it up on the menu and we'll let you know. I'm not even sure what that even means. But yeah, it was some kind of lollipop. I'm sure it's skewers, but it's called lollipop. This is gross. Anyway, highly recommend it. Bye. I'm really confused. Hey folks, we're heading up the Tower of Terror elevator. Bush dessert floor.